when you find all these studies, especially with um, the fresh organic material of dinosaurs, how is it that uh, the scientific community in general is able to just ignore, how do they ignore it or Specifically, how do they defraud that or try to do that? Well, well, some people try to say they were just bacterial films initially, and then they realized, no, these things are real. The more studies they did, and uh, they, a lot of them are just, they don't talk about the consequences. They just report it. You know, they're now saying in, in geology textbooks, they're talking about chemical fossils now. And they're going, isn't that cool? That's all they say. They don't, they don't, you know, Mary Schweitzer gave a talk in Dallas a couple years ago and she talked about them or how they found them in T-Rex Sioux even, but it hasn't been published. They found them in every, you know, Cretaceous dinosaur she's ever looked at. But she never addressed how they can survive. You know, she just said, they're, they're everything. They're, but she did admit fossils have to form fast and deep, which was kind of a change for the previous years. But uh, they, they're either, there's some journals to my knowledge, the Society of Vertebrate Paleontologists, their journal still refuses to publish anything dealing with soft tissues. They just don't believe it, so they just ignore it. Wow. And publish it. So okay. there's a lot of people that they just don't talk about, you know, they say, we don't understand how these things were preserved for that long, but we know they were. That's kind of usually the standard thing. They don't understand how, but they know they were because they know these are 66 million years old or whatever. So they, you know, they just won't consider the other option. <laughs> 